every single day I become a bigger advocate for raising children in groups of three or more because like I get there are lots of people who are very happily single parenting or raising their children as twosomes. That's great for you. But for those of you thinking about doing something different, I just want you to know like it is possible to do so because there is no representation of us, right? There's no bluey episode about the kid with three parents, but we're out here just doing our thing. And in our case, a single parent by choice team. How you doing everybody? It's simple son. And uh, I'm trying to bring a little bit of simpleness to a bunch of nonsense. Um, today we have this TikTok video I found. I'll leave a link in the description for you to, you know, debase yourself by watching on your own. Um, but I think the world's just becoming a little bit more, you know, devilish every single day. Um, we, we, we started out with the L and the G and moved on to the B and the, now the T and now Thruples want representation and are advocating for the idea that more than two people not just gay but just more than two people three four five seven um should be okay watch uh, raising a baby um we're gonna take a look at this and just and and we'll stop in, in immediately and and my god my God, we need we need you, Jesus. We need you. Up with an existing couple, we decided to make a kid together and raising that kid as a group. You could be in a romantic couple. You could be three best friends. You could have more adults involved if you want to, so long as you're all committed to this child rearing thing. You say you see how I said he, he said you can you can have you know three people. You can have uh, two adults and another adult and more than three adults. You, you notice he just said that, right? He just said that. Imagine more than three people raising one child and certainly it takes some extra negotiating right the more people you have the more opinions you have and we had to have some hard talks about things like who was going to be genetically related to our child and who wasn't that was tricky but also it was kind of just a moment in time in comparison to the 18 plus year commitment that is raising a human being and putting them out into the world because oh my gosh raising kids is so now you do you know what kind of couples you do you know what kind of people that don't have to like figure out between three or more people who's going to be genetically um, uh, relative to this child. A couple. A couple. A man and a woman. A couple. They, they don't have to... They, they, there's no debating. Those two. That's it. Just those two people. We know. It, it's, there's not hard work. Let's see what else nonsense he got much work and it kind of reminds me of the early days of like union organizing where people were fighting for an eight hour work day so that no no it's nothing like that it has nothing to do that why are you there's three of you for one the, the the workload should be lessened two it has nothing to do with unionizing for a job i mean these people literally stood there sometimes for weeks at a time begging for an eight hour work week you're in a nice comfy a house wearing wish you were queer t-shirt talking about how hard of work it was your hands aren't even dirty son your hands aren't even dirty they could have eight hours of rest and then eight hours of daily life like that's what we need as a parenting group so right now my husband is at work making a paycheck my co-parent is at the daycare center with their kid and i'm about to have a nice cup of coffee and go work on my novel he sounds like real hard work sounds like real hard work for you and your husband oh my god what are we coming to um again you, you notice back in the day it was like the gays and the lesbians were like no no you know because the argument was, was like well you know you're gonna try to get a hold of kids and you're gonna you're gonna make it where it's you know it's all kind of weird sexual stuff no and then bisexual came along no that's just you know it's just in betweens right and then the trans thing came along and now you got these men that actually think they're women and now, what's next? You know, these throuples? I know that's been a thing for a while, but now, I mean, they're literally coming out publicly saying about how they are actually, you know, in practice doing this with our children. And I say, yes, our children, because it's in our nation. It takes a, it, it takes a, a village to raise a child. Basically, this child's going to grow up thinking this is normal and is going to raise their child, possibly, to believe that and they might even go too farther to an extreme so i mean what's next you know and let's keep going 
and that is what works for us and we're still so tired at the end of the day that sometimes we're like gosh do we need a fourth person involved here so see look i mean he's done escalated the problem so they're they're a thruple and now he's trying to bring a fourth person in again at what point does like say if you were adopting a child uh at what point do you not put you know uh, uh orgy adopting a child basically you're 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 you got a whole football team of people adopting one child or having one child this kid's gonna be screwed up we got enough screwed up in this world uh, you need some more Jesus in your life, my friend. You need you, you need to find some Jesus. So, just if you're thinking about it, if this is something you want to learn more about, like I'm not thinking about. It. Nobody should be thinking about. It. That's a bad idea. Like we are here, we are doing this thing, and it can work beautifully. It, it can, but it won't, right? Like, and even if it did in your case, that's an exception to the rules. Exceptions to the rules don't make the rules. That's all I just want you to know. Uh, lesson here, ladies and gentlemen, don't listen to this guy. Um, it's hard enough trying to keep an, you know, a relationship with, uh, two people going strong, let alone three people. So, you know, uh, and plus, y you think mathematically, right? Birth rates are lowering all around the world for two couples, for two people in a couple. Let alone three, because now you're just adding another whole person that needs to be replaced. So each couple, at least, just bare minimum, needs to have two children, right? So we have a little bit of data on this, so we're going to check out some data here in a second. Uh, this article is from the BBC, um, and don't mind me, I had to put my glasses on to help me read a little bit better. I'm getting old, you know what I mean? Um, First off, it's the fertility rate jaw-dropping global crash in children being born. And I will leave the link for these articles in the description if you want to check them out for your own by James Gallagher, BBC. Um, the world is ill-prepared for the global crash in children being born, which is set to have a jaw-dropping impact on society, say researchers. Falling fertility rate means nearly every country could have a shrinking population by the end of the century. Yeah. And 23 nations, including Spain and Japan, are expected to see their populations half by 2100. Countries will also age dramatically, with as many people turning 80 as there are being born. Now, you might say to yourself, well, it doesn't really matter. I'll be dead. Well, you can't say society owes you anything. Then you don't... The, a society shouldn't need to owe you anything because you say you owe society nothing you say you have no duty to society right there's no duties for you to maintain the population well then we should have no not we owe you nothing society should care nothing about you there should be no social programs or nothing because you don't help maintain those social programs so what's going on the fertility rate average the number of children a woman gives birth is it give birth to is falling the number falls with approximately between 2.1 then the size of the population starts to fall in 1950 women were having an average of 4.7 children in their lifetime researchers at the university of washington institute of health metrics and evaluation showed the global fertility rate nearly halved in 2.4 in 2017 and their study published in the lancet projects it will fall below 1.7 by 2100 again uh, our population will go extinct if we don't do it. All it's going to take is one bad year. Uh, not enough people having babies. Um, too many people getting sick from a disease. Too much war. Famine. Something. I mean, as you can see, it's getting odd now. So, you know, again, that duty is going to come to an imperative one of these days, right? So as you can see in the chart from the Institute of Health and Metrics Evaluation at the University of Washington, uh, 4.7 to below 2 right here. Um, I have a feeling that because of our society, it's going to probably even fall lower than that, you know, especially the United States. Um, and as you can see, the projections for per population, the China and India looks like they per capita have probably the biggest because they have the largest population. It's saying here that the U.S. might actually see an increase. I, I believe this may be false. I, I, I don't believe they're factoring in 
you know, uh, our society, basically, you know, the, you know, the freedom of sexual revolution, um, a new form of OnlyFans, um, and, and, and I gotta be honest with you, the only way to stop this is, uh, religion, God, you need Jesus in your heart, um, I believe this is the only way for any of us to survive, you know, to find some salvation, um, and some happiness, Really, because uh, the truth is, um, we can just ask Pew Research. This is a 2019 article, pre, uh, Pew Research. Again, I'll link it in the description. But as you can see, uh, religion's relationship to happiness, civic engagement, and health around the world. In the U.S. and other countries, participation in the congregation is a key factor. Um, the article continues... People who are active in religious congregations tend to be happier and more civically engaged than either religiously unaffiliated adults or inactive members or religious groups. According to the new Pew Research Center analysis, survey data from the United States and more than two dozen other countries. And as you can see, the happiness level just in Mexico alone from 71 to 61. Now, again, these are self-reporting, so even the people that aren't you know, affiliate it at all may tend to be lying, right? Like, this may be interactive data, but I, I, I have a feeling that it's not. Because, uh, you let Jesus into your heart, um, you find a little bit of happiness, um, uh, that happiness multiplies, right? Um, religious, regardless of whether you believe it's real or not, religiosity has a, has a structure to it. It, it gives you what you need. It, it has a daily active tenant to it. Um, whether we find that here in the United States, whether we actually enact that, and uh, I believe we actually should pass laws around uh, our Christian values, um, a little bit more stricter maybe. We've been very loose, and I, I think uh, society has felt a, a burden on it you know, in the past few years. Um, so, yeah, we'll get into this deeper later on down the line. Um, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, try to stay away from the thruples. Um, try to, you know, maybe try to find some happiness. Hopefully talk to some friends, some family. Go talk to a pastor. Go talk to a priest, you know. Um, find Jesus' love because Jesus does love you. And, uh... Maybe find some happiness with a woman you love. Get married and have some kids. Help save us. Um, I'm Simple Son. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And uh, like always, I'll leave you out with a good video. Maybe get you to start thinking. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Vote. And I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. That would get weird. And I'm trying not to get weird. I'm trying to be sensitive about this. But I will read you this scripture. Ecclesiastes 10 says, the heart of the wise inclines to the right. I mean... Just reading you the Bible.